Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. What I'm going to do is show you how to make an intricate part like what you see on my screen right now in Tinkercad. Now, I didn't actually create it within Tinkercad. What I did was, is I imported a step file. Now you can't import step files directly into Tinkercad. So what I used was Fusion 360 to convert the file into an SDL. So let's just jump right in on how to do that. One of the best sites that you can get very intricate parts like nuts, bolts, screws, gears from is McMaster. So if you go to McMaster.com, you can look up all these parts and see the different step files that they have, which you can import into Fusion 360. Now, I recommend going to the website instead of using the plugin through Fusion 360 to search the site. It's just easier to search it in a browser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to gears. And let's select one of these high power metal gears. We're just going to select this first one here. Now you want to click on the product number, which will be in a blue link. And if you see next to product detail, it says CAD. That means there's going to be a CAD file for it, which you can see the specs of the file on the right. On the left, you see that you can actually download this as a SolidWorks 3D file. Now we're going to be using Fusion 360. So I'm going to copy the stock number. Now what I need to do is I need to go into Fusion 360. So in Fusion 360, you will see that at the top you have an insert menu, which you can go down to insert McMaster car component. So this takes you to their website. Now, as you can see, it's not really easy to navigate. It's kind of a small screen. That's why I said go to it in the browser first. But from here, we can actually just search for the file that we just looked at. Now, as you can see, you can click on product detail. Now, it's already set to a 3D step, which we can click download. That will automatically import it straight into Fusion 360. Now, what we want to do is highlight it. We click on tools at the top. We go to make and 3D print. On this box on the right, it may say send to 3D print utility. You want to make sure that's not checked and then click OK. Now, I'm just going to call this a metal gear. And I'm going to save the STL file. Now, the next thing we need to do is go back into Tinkercad. We need to import this file. So Metal Gear and open. Now I'm going to go ahead and say import. It's going to import the gear. Once this gear is imported, you're going to see that you can create it as a saved favorite item. So there's the gear. And we can manipulate it if we want. But for right now, I just want to save it as a shape in my collection. So from here, I'm going to click on Create Shape. I'm going to give it a name. I'll name it Metal Gear. And I'm going to click Save. Now it's going to show up here in my list, which if you highlight over it, you can then click on your Favorites button. And it'll now show up as a favorite item, which you can drag and drop onto your work plane. But that is just a very quick tutorial of how to get a step file from Fusion 360 into Tinkercad. Hopefully you liked what I showed you here. I tried to make it quick and simple as possible. If you have any suggestions for other videos, please let me know. And I'll see you in the next one.